Welcome to Crime Maze. In this video we are going to talk about 5 unsolved kidnapping cases. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. The number of children abducted in the United States continues to rise at an alarming rate. Even with sophisticated technology to aid in the investigation of unsolved kidnapping cases, there is still a pressing need for coordination between US government agencies and crime analysts to unearth the truth behind these unresolved crimes. There were 87,500 active records of missing or unidentified persons in the United States alone in 2019, according to the FBI's National Crime Information Center NCIC. 35% of the 87,500 active records were for children under the age of 18, and 44% were for missing persons aged 19 to 21. Whether you study forensic anthropology or work as a detective, all forensic specialists can assist in the investigation of cold cases, such as kidnappings. The top 10 cold cases in abduction in the United States are shown here, with updates as of May 2021. Number 5, Inga Gerick, a 5-year-old Inga Gerick was one of the two, German Maddie, girls. On May 2, 2015, she vanished, while on a family vacation in a woodland in the Wilhelmshof district of Stendal, northern Germany, almost eight years after Madeleine went. When Inga was last seen alive, she was collecting wood for a campfire with other youngsters, but did not come back her abduction has been called, inexplicable, and unbelievable, by detectives, who believe she was abducted despite a major search. Police raided Bruckner's rundown farmhouse in Neuwegesleben, roughly 60 miles south of the forest, nine months after Inga vanished. Officers searched his residence but discovered nothing, except child abuse photographs on a USB drive, for which he was charged. Bruckner allegedly had no alibi, but there was no evidence linking him to the crime, and he was never charged, therefore the matter was terminated after only four weeks. According to Der Spiegel, girls' apparel was discovered in a caravan on the site. According to police, Bruckner allegedly expressed his desire to grab something small and use it for days, record many videos, clips, and document in detail how she's being tortured in an online discussion. Police allegedly discovered USB sticks containing photographs of children being sexually tortured and indecent photographs of animals, according to Kube Bali Muhammad, a lawyer for Inga's father, Jen Zuva. On Bruckner's farm, he claims, there was a huge carcass stench and several dogs were discovered dead, some of them buried. Mr. Muhammad argues that Bruckner had no alibi on the day Inga vanished, and that a witness remembers seeing a dark vehicle near her location. At the period, Bruckner is claimed to have owned such a car. Bruckner was engaged in a small parking accident at an autobahn service station in Helmstead, which was located between his home and the forest, the day before Inga went missing. Inga's parents have asked authorities to investigate Bruckner again to see if he kidnapped and killed their daughter. My feeling tells me that she is still alive, Inga's mother claimed in 2017. The new owner of the property where Bruckner lived between August 2013 and April 2016 has raised her concerns. I am concerned he may have buried a body here, the woman, a tour guide, told the Sunday People. I'd like the cops to dig up the ground and investigate. Number 4, Rene Hassi. René vanished while on vacation near Algezur in the Algarve, around 30 miles from Praia da Luz, at the Amoreiras beach. When the six-year-old boy went missing in June 1996, he was racing along the beach ahead of his parents on a walk. René's parents briefly lost sight of their son, then never saw him again, leaving only his clothes on the shore. René was initially thought to have drowned by the Portuguese, but proper sea searches took two days. René's father, Andreas Hassi, believes his son would not have entered the ocean alone, and that if he did, his body would have washed ashore. Number 3, Tristan Brubach. In March 1998, the world was startled by the rape and murder of a 13-year-old boy whose testicles and buttocks had been removed. Tristan Brubach's body was discovered in the Liederbach, a tunnel near the frankfurt hoxt rail station in the German state of Hesse, near the frankfurt hoxt train station. According to allegations, he was beaten unconscious, strangled, raped, and tortured. His body had been mutilated, with both testicles and flesh from the buttocks and thighs taken, and he died as a result of a long slash to his throat. The bodily parts that were removed were never found. Number 2, Peggy Noblock. Peggy Noblock's death, dubbed German Maddie by British tabloids over the years, has been described as Germany's most perplexing criminal case. Police in Germany have acknowledged that they are re-examining the nine-year kidnapping olds and murder to see whether there is any connection to Bruckner. 
investigators in Bavaria are re-examining Peggy's death to see whether there is a relation to Bruckner, despite the fact that there is no proof linking him to the crime, and that it is purely procedural. Peggy vanished on her way home from school in Lichtenberg, Bavaria, in May 2001, almost precisely six years before Madeleine vanished, according to Bild. Her remains were discovered in a woodland nine miles from her house in July 2016, when mushroom pickers discovered skeletal bones. Peggy's disappearance provoked a large search throughout Bavaria, which was expanded as far as the Czech Republic and Turkey by police and army forces. A number of probable suspects have already been investigated by police, and one guy was previously imprisoned before being acquitted. In the woods where Peggy was discovered in 2016, DNA traces from infamous neo-Nazi Uwe Bernhardt, who died in 2011, were discovered. However, there was never any proof of a link. Manuel S., then 41, admitted dumping Peggy's body in the jungle in 2018, but denied killing her. Number 1, Carola Titzer. After Bruckner emerged as a suspect in the McCann disappearance, Belgian officials decided to reopen the case. Carola Titzer vanished in July 1996, while on vacation with her parents in a Flemish resort in De Haan, West Flanders, just weeks after René went. In the days leading up to her abduction, the 16-year-old was supposedly seen at a disco with an unknown German male. Her horrifically disfigured dead corpse was discovered on the sand dunes six days after she went missing. The file connected to this murder is indeed reopened, the public prosecutor's office in Bruges announced. A shockwave swept through our community when Carola Titz's body was recovered in Woodland, near the dunes in 1996, de Haan's current mayor, Wilfried Vandel, told VRT. Of course, we all want the offender to be apprehended as soon as possible. Let's hope the German probe can shed some light on the situation. What do you think about this video? Which of the following top 5 unsolved kidnapping cases you find most shocking? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you like this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.